Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts Podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ink Thoughts Podcast. Yeah, so today is another yeah, another episode, just another episode. I actually totally forgot, but I guess I used to have a very fixed idea of how to start every episode, <laughs> but then now I've already forgotten. But yeah, today we are dressed quite nicely. Because, <laughs> quite nicely. Yeah, quite nicely. I mean, quite nicely. I guess it's, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's been quite some time that we're properly dressed previously. I mean, we weren't because it's like just totally audio podcast. So like, there's no point in doing yeah. that. So right now, I guess video... We occasionally, I guess it's more like Vereen that's dressed up a bit. I don't really care. But today, later, now it's like 7.41 a.m. Later, we're heading on to our Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, today is 18th of, of February. February. And then we are going to go ahead and have some... Have, well, I mean, like, for context, we did not celebrate on the Valentine's Day. I just bought mm. the flowers. And then today, we're just going to go and celebrate it officially. And then going to go watch... And then. Ant-Man, Ant-Man 3, uh, Quantumania. I mean, I'm a Marvel fan, so any Marvel movie would just be, like, amazing. For me. It's like, oh, a goal, uh, a piece of masterpiece. Usually, usually. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Um, but yeah, before that, um, any weekly updates that you'd like to share? Mm, weekly update? Um, most of the stuff are still kind of the same because it's third week of the semester. So, mm. yeah, you start starting to feel a, a little bit more stressed about assignments and all because mm-hmm. everything is like happening at the same time so you have to since we all want to get a good result you have to work hard right yeah, yeah. it's not like you 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 have time to work on that just that you, you know you have to work hard for everything instead of just one thing yes. that, that that is the thing that actually makes i guess my classmate as well because they have been telling talking about this as well yeah so feel stressed about that i mean not that stressed but start start you you can start feeling all those coming Understand. yeah Understand. yeah other than that uh yeah on wednesday it was a fun day i'll say yeah yes, because indeed. because um my my friend's um, boyfriend came over to celebrate valentine's with her so he was still still here for a few days so uh we had the lunch gathering also yeah mm-hmm. so andrew went as well yeah yeah like yeah it's uh it's amazing meeting your friends and and not just that uh personally for me as well because i haven't had lunch outside mm. for a very long time i mean like other than weekends like mainly weekdays because i work at I work from home it's a remote work that's why it's quite amazing you know to be able to just head out to have have lunch yeah. and then like spend a bit on lunch mm. and then first time trying that restaurant even though it's like a restaurant <laughs> that's like right outside of the campus which i used to study it's very funny yeah so yeah, it's amazing, um, uh, just amazing. And then it's I guess it's a great experience trying out mm-hmm. some British food as well. Yeah, it feels like a British food, even though actually they taste, you know, just mild. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not bad. I mean, like like you when you pay for food, you just like I don't know, you yeah. just the it feeling feels eating, different. eating outside at, at home is different. Yeah, yeah, paying for a meal, <laughs> even though, but I mean, of course, uh, the the food is okay. It's mm. not like terrible. So even you pay for it, even though it's like. Uh, it's just like um, mildly delicious. You still you still get the satisfaction of being outside, paying and then eating in a restaurant, mm. which is quite cool. Yeah. Yeah, and at the same time, there's others um, eating together with you. Mm. You can talk together and all. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. The the, the 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 yeah yeah. Actually, I guess that is one of the core parts as mm. well because I I do think that previously when I do eat outside, eat alone, it kind of loses the flavor. It loses mm. the meaning because it's that yeah. Um, like it loses something, some some elements mm. in it. Like you sit outside, even though that might be really good food, you can't really mm. share with others, talk about it, something yeah. like that. So, yeah, I guess that is a key key part which I really enjoy. Mm. You know, having having that lunch <laughs> with your friends. <laughs> How was the overall experience meeting my friends? It's amazing. I mean, I mean, uh, to be honest, I've never had such a diverse group of mm. friends for my course I guess mainly because it's only my third year that I'm spending here Mm -mm. so yeah definitely not as diverse as yours but um, yeah uh, other than that they're just nice and then love talking with them (laughs) love uh, love to know learning learning different Mm. different kind of perspectives ish from them yeah so it's just an interesting thing Mm. yeah we'd love to meet them more yeah sure sure (laughs) Yeah, other than that, mm, nothing very special. Yeah, 
just basically working on what I'm supposed to and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for me, wow. I mean, if I, if, if, because like, I guess the thing about how why my life is less interesting is because there's just less interaction. Mm. Yeah, I'm just at home, just remote working. Even if I interact with my colleagues, it's true. Like the 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 daily meetings and mm. that. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, um, I guess there's more work coming in. It's funny because usually people doesn't want more work. I guess. For my role, I just hasn't been getting enough work because there's a lot of things happening. Like my, mm. my my manager resigned and something like that. So there's just a lot of things happening which can't give me an absolute answer for for quite some time now. Mm. And then now that I have a have more things to get my hands on, which is amazing. I love that. And then now I'm actually doing something, which yeah. So definitely, I feel like I'm a bit. How do I say that? Um, put in good use something like mm-hmm. that yeah, and that's not exactly the right term but I guess that's that's what I'm trying to convey yeah and other Did you than... feel more motivated to work harder oh yes yes indeed I mean uh, that's, 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 that's this funny thing that's this, it's a two-sided coin when you get more things to do definitely you're venturing out of your mm-hmm. own you're, you're doing new things and then so gotta push myself to explore more things it's just like oh because like whenever you try new stuff you just mm-hmm. have that in a fear is mm. like oh my god this is like a totally unknown area like, how do i go there and yeah so now i'm just like combating the, the the excitement of starting and then also the fear of of trying out new things something mm-hmm. like that. but it is amazing i'd say it is amazing yeah other than that it was just uh, yes it was amazing because i get to you know watch ant man oh exciting <laughs> i don't know Yes, yesterday quite a few things happened, like there's company social, which happens every week, and then it was just an online, online session playing games. It's, <laughs> it's quite, uh, uh, quite uh, less dramatic, <laughs> dramatic than, than, than than what it is, uh, what most people have, yeah, something like that. But yeah, I guess that's it for me. Just more work, which is ironically good for me. I don't know, <laughs> not ironically. I don't know what's the word for that, but yeah. It's funny that, that I, 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 I kind of am happy about this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, not everyone will be unhappy about more work, just mm-hmm. depending on what kind of work sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm, yeah, that's true. That is true indeed. Mm. Yeah, then I guess we, we, we should go into our topic today. Yes, so uh, I guess uh, tr- throughout this past, let's let just scroll through our topic. Like, f- over this past period, I don't know, it's been a lot of, of self focused <laughs> topic like more about search life seeking something like that kind even of like reflection look, kind of self-reflection yeah, yeah if i even look or look at like january i guess a bit mm-hmm. a bit yeah most of them most of them are saying yeah. like reflection something like that so today we're just gonna go bit go in a bit of casual topic which is what we used to do back then we talk about <laughs> random like if we scroll back i kind of forgot what what we had back then mm-hmm. really. it was like very simple like like making lunch decisions, something oh. like that. Yeah, actually. Yeah, like, like, is there anything else? I don't know. I, I, I that's that's one of the simplest topic topic I can think of. I wonder is there other, but I mean they are somewhere here, but I'm not sure if there's. Yeah, eighty five episodes wow. is amazing. Should, oh, when should we buy time? Oh, that's still like okay. Why are we starting the podcast? Oh, that was that was actually the podcast that we did, we didn't release. What oh. what makes a contentful birthday? Uh, how to get ideas that's actually quite useful uh, <laughs> out of efficient lunch decision making very funny yeah live a good life feeling of growth oh yeah a lot of things yeah of the this kind of true intention behind complaints the odd social media uh-huh. posting style or something like that so yeah today we're going a bit casual um i mean but this one is interesting as well to mm, be honest yeah. so uh it's just we are both from malaysia we've mm-hmm. been living the malaysia idea and i mean like We've been implanted the Malaysian mm. st- way of way of thought for like the past twenty years. Mm. So um, then, when we come to the UK, like it's a normal. You just expect that you know things just work the same, mm. and then uh, I like at, or at least quite the same. Yeah, and then when, but but actually, it just it it's just not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, that 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 might sound so poorly crafted, but I mean basically. I guess we're focusing on marriage, the thoughts on marriage, like especially, or you can say like the culture on marriage comparing Malaysia mm. and the UK. It's like, not, v- can I say vastly different? Mm. I guess in a way I can say vastly yeah. different. Yeah, it's actually vastly different, even though it's like minor details. But then if we, if we actually tell our parents about that, they'll be mm. like, 
oh wow, how can this、yeah. possibly be this way? Something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, but 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 we but we say Malaysia. Should we just say Malaysian Chinese? Okay, Malaysian、right? Chinese. Yes, that, we that, don't really know that much about、um, other、Malaya、races. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, actually, yeah, Malaysian. When we compare UK, UK, of course, UK. We are not. It's just a general from our、oh, yeah. friends. Something something that we know. Just a general thing, and then Malaysia, uh, like Malaysia Chinese specifically. So、mm. yes,、uh, I guess like like one of the 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 groundbreaking thing that 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 I. Why not? Why not you? You start from what? What's the groundbreaking things you have learned from like UK marriage, and then I'll、okay. I'll continue with mine. Sure. So <laughs> there there was this one day where we had had some、um, group discussion stuff to do. So、um, we were we were randomly allocated to different groups by our lecturer. So that time, me and another two girls were in one group. So I'm from Malaysia, one of them from Peru, and another one is um um local. I mean from UK. So we. After we are we are done with our work, so suddenly one uh, uh another girl just asked us if if we have boyfriend or what.、Mm-hmm. Then I said yeah I have a boyfriend and yeah and and we discuss a bit on that. And after that um the other girl said oh, actually I'm an uh I'm engaged. So we were like oh、uh, exciting you know yeah, right yeah, you heard、exciting. about that yeah oh my god you're gonna get a marriage yeah. soon yeah you're gonna have family yeah, yeah. Gonna, it's a a huge like milestone something like that yeah so so I, I mean her, it is a huge milestone yeah it is <laughs> <laughs> so I asked her oh um when when do you plan to get married then she say um not sure yet maybe in a few years at first I was like、wow. mm, what. Yeah, yeah, it's quite funny. So,、uh, I mean, for context, because like I guess in for Malaysian Chinese, like when you when you get engaged,、mm. um, of course, yeah, when you get engaged, you just get married pretty soon after yeah, that, like、yeah. within a few months, like like、mm. like within a few months, as in like the the formal procedure, like 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 the signing of papers, you don't. You don't wait for a few years, yeah.、Mm. Like, yeah, we don't、mm. wait for a few.、Yeah. I don't think so. It's like, yeah, just within a few months. I guess they kind of look at the dates. You know, we kind of <laughs> need to pick a perfect date. It's superstitious on there, but、yeah. then they they do care about that. And then that the signing ceremony, which is actually、mm. the official one, but then like what I guess Malaysian Chinese care more about is the actual wedding ceremony. Yeah, yeah. Wedding the、ceremony. the wedding ceremony, and then there's dinner and everything. Like that's what they actually care about. So,、uh, but that is that will happen. Usually a few months after that as well. It's rarely、mm. years, or maximum it just be one year after that.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then of course they need to pick a perfect date for that. Yeah, as well. And sometimes、um, that's external factors. Maybe um the uh they they got they got pregnant or or just because of financial issue or they、mm. they have to just push. Yeah, but but usually it's the, not very long.、Yeah. It's like just one year. Yeah. Usually one year would be the max. It wouldn't. But but by that time the signing ceremony has yeah, been done, yeah, so yeah. like it's pretty so much. So you are already legally married, actually. Yeah, yeah, something like that, something like that. So yeah, it's like quite quite surprised when I heard it, and then I thought it's an isolated case actually when、mm. when I heard that. Then I,、uh, it came to me when a few days ago, my, I guess my manager was asking one of my employee which, was engaged,、uh, and then. Which has engaged actually, not was engaged. Sorry, I'm so bad at grammar. <laughs> and then what?、Uh, so he's actually getting married probably next year. I think he got engaged like maybe、uh, a year ago or something like that. And then he's gonna gonna get married、uh, next year or something. Which is like wow. Okay, I I、uh, that then it made me realize like okay, so it is quite a quite a thing here. And、mm-hmm. but but I guess from him I got to know more on why 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 is、mm-hmm. it why is it this case because、uh, definitely I guess. In general, in in the Western culture, like they are a lot more independent.、Mm. So, unlike us, where where not only when we grew up, when we study study university, our parents is paying us. After that, usually we still stay in our parents' house, and then even when when we get married and all that, parents sometimes、uh, will will take in their take out their savings for、mm. you to 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 get prepared for marriage. Like whether it's like. There's a lot of traditional yeah, procedure involved yeah. there. Like, you need to get gifts like a certain amount of money、mm-hmm. for, for the, for the lady side. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah for your, for your fiance, something. Yeah, that's important. Kind of bring something back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just a lot of all these formal, traditional,、mm-hmm. cultural procedure thing that happen. And then over here, 
I'm not exactly sure about this. Possibly there is still some, but I, I bet it's not as complicated as that. But mm. definitely many people just want to have a, like the revel wedding ceremony mm. itself, where like uh, they just want to have it grand when you're walking through a church, something like that, or like there's a, there's a dinner, something like that, and then maybe even honeymoon. So that's like what they actually care more about, mm. and then they want a nicer ceremony. And for that, they have to save up money on their own. So for my colleague, he's saying that, yeah, unfortunately, uh, like he doesn't have rich parents, so he has to save money on his own. So, yeah, uh, and then kind of make it make it work out, uh, work out in the end. So definitely, mm-hmm. he's engaged, but then he's just now waiting for it to, uh, waiting for the marriage to happen after they have saved enough money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that, which is, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, but. Uh, uh, yeah, and and also sorry, sorry for stopping there. I was like wondering, like, oh, is that is that the end? Like, I, there must be something for me. But uh, yes, like another thing that came out was that my manager, because uh, like after after literally we talked about mm-hmm. this topic, my manager you know, chipped in and, and talked about, like, yeah, when when he got married, it was just like, I guess this is not exactly UK anymore, because uh, my 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 manager is uh, uh, is from Serbia and then. His wife is from Brazil, but I'm not sure like 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 how long have they stayed in UK something like that. But definitely, um, their yeah, marriage procedure was really simple. Mm-hmm. They just went into like the marriage registrar something like that, <laughs> uh, signed paper, and then got married. And then even the next day, they just got back to work, <laughs> which is like, okay, interesting. Uh, but did they, interesting. Do they even have a honeymoon like after a few? Okay, this months? one well, like I mean, we didn't get into oh, detail. Okay. Just like a casual chat, chat during one of okay. our stand up, but. Uh, I mean, I bet there is, mm-hmm. and then definitely there's trips, something like that happening, definitely, because, yeah, um, yeah, so it's just quite interesting that, like, over here, I guess, um, like, the, the, the stark difference between, I don't know, in, in, in our Malaysian mm-hmm. Chinese culture, the urgency, mm-hmm. the, the grandness, like, how mm-hmm. grand it should be, and then, like, like, all this tradition that, that everyone should adhere to, and then, like how fast we should get it done. Like mm-hmm. I guess that's that's mentioning urgency. Like unlike uh, whereas here, guess when you do it, like you gotta confirm it, and then like I even checked on the UK government website, <laughs> like engagement is not a leak. Uh, there's no official procedure procedure for engagement. Yeah, but then it is sort of legally binding. Mm. And one funny thing is that you that if in any case. When you guys kind of decided to separate after you have engaged, it kind of works like a div- divorce. <laughs> so you can't, the, the guy can't get back the engagement ring. And then, um, like everything, like kind of the assets you own have mm. to be split by half, something like that as well, which is like very interesting. But yeah, like, like what I just kind of want to say that uh, comparing to like our Malaysian Chinese culture in the UK, Things are a lot more relaxed. Mm. I guess it is grand, but then it's more like how much you want it yourself mm-hmm. instead of like how much we want it traditionally mm. way, like like how you compare it, something like that. Yeah. And then, well, I, I would love to explore about like, like the traditional cultural ex- aspect of it, uh, aspect of it. Uh, but uh, we haven't got 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 people that that dive deep yeah. enough to to know that. Um, but yeah, other than that, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're just like a lot more independent, or like 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 my manager case, they might just not care about it. So it's more like what you want instead of like, mm-hmm. like, what what parents want in in like like in like the Malaysian Malaysian Chinese aspect. <laughs> I, I'm thinking, mm, would would that be this reason where, <clears throat> uh, maybe in in Malaysian uh Malaysian Chinese we we are, we have been brought up. Uh, in a way that um, they always tell us that you know you have to only get married when you are ready, so called ready. Like like for some people, mm, okay. Mm, maybe that that's that's when um um because they are so called ready, they expect you are financially mm-hmm. um, oh yeah like, capable cause... in paying all this, so the ur- uh, the urgency can work. Yeah, in certain like I mean like I guess at least in Malaysia it's still not that important, but sometimes oh. it's a criteria for. Like for in uh, for for Chinese, I guess in general, mm. you know, you need to have a car, have a house, and then that's yeah. like that burden is kind of fall on uh, fall on the guy itself. It's it's quite gender biased. Mm. I don't know why why 
it must be the guy that do this. Yeah. Not saying that you know guy can't like like shouldn't do this or can't do this something like that. But then I guess it's your balance thing. Like mm. you can't just expect the guy to be rich and everything to yeah. be successful. And then and then I guess n- not saying that mm, women must be successful in order to deserve something like that. But then it's just not an uh, important aspect to look mm. into when you're having a marriage. I guess it's a relationship that's more important. Mm. But but it, the interesting thing when you talk about getting, like, you have to be ready, so-called ready. Like, interestingly, when we look, compare this, like, comparing Malaysian Chinese and, and the UK, UK, of course, from what we see right now, mm. uh, Malaysian Chinese, so when we so-called ready, the ready is more like how people perceive it. Okay. Because, like, it's like, you, you look at it, it's more like, the money aspect, mm. like how rich you are, whatever you have, mm-hmm. yeah. Whereas I guess in the UK, I'm, I don't know. Like I mean, like maybe they're not rich or something. But I guess if you're able to stay engaged mm. for years and get married, aren't you more ready? Yeah, true, true. Isn't it? Because like it's kind of like you kind of, you guys can manage this relationship well. Mm-mm-mm. You guys can really manage this relationship well, like. And then you know, staying longer, like whereas in 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 Malaysian Chinese aspect, it's just like there's this money thing that yeah. ties us all together. This is like so yeah, don't worry about it. If anything happens to us, <laughs> there's still this money money thing that can solve it. Then that's that's how I perceive it, isn't it? Okay, I mean true, like money true. is kinda helpful, but then like, <laughs> like yeah. Anything happens, there's still this money, there's still house or whatever, mm-hmm. you can stay in there. You know, we might be arguing with every uh, each other every day, but then there's money over here, you know. Don't worry about it. You have a place to live. You have something to eat. Just that we might have to argue something like that. But I don't know. I guess in, in UK aspect, it's nice that, you know, you can live together for, for, for years. You you kind of know each other well enough already. And then you, you get married. And then, like, yeah, you can for sure know that. I guess we are able to work things out together mm-hmm. instead of just, like, yeah, we have money. Yeah. yeah we can, we can you know, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and another thing is, like, in Mal- not a Malaysian, I mean in Chinese in general, they care a lot about the age. Ah, uh, yeah. When you are, especially when women reach a certain age, mm. the family might start getting very anxious and all and mm. keep asking you going out to have dates and everything. Mm. Or... I'm not sure about it here though. I mean, I, I, we assume that it's not a thing here and we expect it shouldn't be a thing here. Mm-hmm. But it could be. It could be still a thing. Maybe, of course, I, I believe it wouldn't be as big because like, especially if, like from what we know they never mentioned about this yeah. but i i guess it wouldn't be as serious mm. as uh, malaysia chinese something like that yeah because yeah, hmm? i remember um we had this very random <laughs> conversation hmm? uh very early when we just met first met each other i oh, mean my really? friends and all because one of one of my friends are uh is from india mm-hmm. and then she said she don't mind oh arranged marriage because okay, okay. she feels like her parents know her better than herself. So oh. they would choose the so-called right person and good person for her. Mm, yeah, okay. that, that's the reason that she she, she don't mind doing that. So uh, I remember um, the others from the UK were quite surprised hearing that and all. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. I mean, that's a arranged marriage. That's not connected yeah, but, to age. Okay, true, true. Yeah, like, I mean... Yeah, but definitely, I mean, like, I guess, but 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 regarding arranged marriage, yeah, this this thing quite surprised me as well. Because like, mm. if we talk about like even Malaysia Chinese, I mean, perhaps some are okay with it, but uh, I guess most, are, most it's most, no longer yeah. a, a thing here, which is which is amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing wrong if you yeah. if you like that, yeah, like perfectly fine, like mm-hmm. totally like like your friend, where where she just said that, yeah, because like your parents know you better. Yeah. It's actually true, true in yeah. certain sense. But I guess um, for me, for you, definitely, I believe you. You have this idea that we want to make choices ourselves yeah. as well. Like, oh, like why would I want to <laughs> let my parents choose? And then, definitely, I believe you would like to know that person better. Mm. Yeah, arranged marriage, right? Not just like it's w- w- what your friend says. Arranged marriage, yes. right? Not just like a, how do we call it? a date, arranged yeah, yeah. date, something like that. No. That is crazy. Arranged marriage. Uh, arranged marriage is crazy. I'm definitely not like, like actually now now that I think about it, yeah maybe uh, maybe date is still fine because that uh, you're just having a date and then meeting that that guy for the first time and then possibly Trying you can to know each other. yeah yeah it's like kind of like 
in a certain way, meeting a friend, but just, I guess, with the added objective that hopefully you guys can be together yeah. in the long term. Yeah, but arranged marriage, now I think of it, no, 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 definitely, <laughs> that's, that's out of my books, man, I, I, I can't accept that, I, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna accept that, but, yeah, it's just interesting, mm. interesting. But, yes, I guess, interesting thing, kind of just doing, laying out, 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 out our, 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 at least our thoughts for now, mm-hmm. right now, so, yes, what, like, like, uh, what is based on like what you have learned in Malaysia and then like UK? What would be your like expectations? On marriage. Yeah, yeah. You right mean now. um, all on ceremony and all that. I guess so, but definitely we can't go very details uh-huh. into it. So yeah, just just around that. Yeah, um, I guess uh, I guess just like what I said just now last time. I guess from engagement until until like first day of work mm. i guess after marriage on the other after the, ma- the the marriage ceremony yeah, first day of work mm. of course um after uh, after engagement or um, the the so called legal mm. signing paper mm. process mm. yeah then probably after that a uh, uh, wedding ceremony mm. um and and also kind of like wedding dinner but mm. but, but I, I I want to only invite people that that I that, that is important to me mm, instead okay. of just randomly you know that oh, this, yes. this very far relative that I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it just happens in Chinese culture. Mm. Relative is more important than so called friend something. I guess we talked about this in a in a in a yeah. long ago episode where like blood is more important mm-hmm. than than your friends something like that. Yeah, but but in a sense for me like like relative are just. Uh, are worse than friends? Not not worse than friends. Like not that they are morally like like worse or something, but then like just you don't know them that well. Yeah. And then you have to. I that's the thing I dislike about the Chinese culture is that because we are relative, we have to act like we are. We know each other really well. Mm-hmm. We are like we have to be close. We have to be nice, something like that. Not that we should be nice towards everyone, but I guess. It's just like every friend, something like that. We should know each other. Mm. We like there should be a proper conversation, proper conversation mm, in the beginning, something like that. And we just kind of get to know each other, something like that. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. even if if you invited them, they don't even know you. There's no point of you know, they mm. coming and you inviting them. Mm. Yeah, but of course I I don't mean that I don't invite relatives at all, mm. but. I invite those that are important to me or are close to me. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah. So so after the ceremony and dinner, mm, yeah, probably I, I can start getting back to work. Like honeymoon thing can happen anytime in the year, doesn't have to happen immediately after mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Photos? Photo taking. Oh yeah, photos. I always forget about that. Mm. <laughs> well, uh I guess as for now, I still I still prefer having um a set of photos, mm. Mm. but but I I, I don't uh, just just for, um, just just for keeping it as a memory and or mm. what yeah, mm, but but I don't really need a few sets. You know, some mm. people they they go all the way out and get <laughs> so many different sets of photographs and mm. yeah. Actually, you know, those photograph can like like not saying that I will, I, I I won't be doing photograph, but. When you want to take it again, you can do it again, right? Yeah, isn't sure, it? sure. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can uh, do it like, like, anytime. Uh, of course, I'm, uh, uh, like you would love to do it when you're young. So, yeah. so I guess that that's one thing. But then, like, actually, like there's nothing stopping you from doing that yeah, again, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, like you just need, you just need your your wedding dress and then just a your photographer. Time. Yeah, oh, yeah, your time. time as well. So, yeah, because like I what, what like, at least many which I perceive is that mm-hmm. when you take all these photographs, it's like very 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 tiring, <laughs> and then you exactly. you like. Because, like, there's just so much things that we want. Like, desire is mm. the thing that we can't control. You want this, you want that. You want to head to this nice place to take. You want this style. You want in this dress, something like that. But then towards the end, you're just like, oh, it's very tiring. Can we just get this done? Mm. Like, mm, why not? We just, like, have one that we really like. And then yeah. maybe after uh, after some time, we do it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially, I don't know. But but eventually, I don't know. I guess looking at it is nice. Yeah. Yeah, we should... I guess, at, at, like, right now more of the point back then it's more like storing it occasionally you view it or like a few photos on, on top of your bed frame 
But right now, it's more like showing towards Instagram or something, mm. <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Which it, I don't know. I mean, it's a nice thing to share, but it kind of builds, uh, it builds a false expectation. Mm. You know, like, like mm-hmm. let, let other people like, oh, you you you, want this or this as well. Yeah. But it actually, photo is just photo. It's like that particular moment. It it's that particular moment could be nice, but during that process, it mm-hmm. not that it's not nice, but it's tiring and all yeah. that. Yeah, something like that. But uh, definitely, oh yeah. Now I guess I'll talk a bit about this as well. I mean, for for a guy, I guess mm. we don't really have much um, expectation or something like that. But I don't know. I guess it's more like we have this. Uh, for me, at least, I have this set expectation of on how things should work out to kind of reach my at least standard, mm-hmm. which I think that I will be able to serve my partner well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, treat my partner well enough, something like that. So, um, but I guess I. Uh, like I'm pretty much okay with most things. I just the I, I just dislike like all those kind of traditional formal oh. procedure. I mean nothing wrong with that, but um I don't know. I mean why do why do I dislike that? That's another question. Mm-hmm. But okay. I guess um mainly because possibly because of the money. Oh. Because okay, I guess I, I I would love to spend money like photographs, all this is okay. Because it's something we mutually care about, mm. and then we, when we look at it, we we know that we get that memory, something like that. It's like kind of like a vlog ish, mm-hmm. where you can see, and then you know, like that moment is captured. Mm. But if we go through that traditional, like Asian and um, Asian uh, Chinese ceremony, like through mad- wedding, something like that, we not only we need to spend money, but do you care about that? Mm-hmm. Like, like, like. Like, what does that bring you? Like, when you look at that, like, even if we take all the pictures, something like that, like, w- like, is there any connection between you and that ceremony? Like, if we take a photograph or we spend money on the ceremony or we spend money on the dinner itself, you have a connection. You know that you know, the photograph is like, oh, it's beautiful, it's lovely. Oops, I forgot to, to mute my phone. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, the second, uh, like, w- if we talk about the ceremony definitely like the ceremony is amazing. Your friends are there. You you just love that moment, like the moment where you tie the knot, and then the dinner where you just had 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 a great 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 night with everyone. So all those all those uh, moments are connections between you and that that event. Oh my god, I just feel so bad. Like this podcast, there's so much noise. Meanwhile, I'll just like mute it. Yes. Okay. Yes, but so like, but for those ceremonies, because like they're just traditional, like unless there's, I don't see a specific meaning that ties into it. Like we do all that, we, but then like, what it is for us, we're just doing it because our parents or like traditionally mm-hmm. they do it, but then it doesn't, it there's no meaning for that one. It's not significant for for us. Like, it's nothing that's worth remembering. But when you say traditional ceremony, you mean those like um. Um, I guess uh, definitely like like gifting and all that like gifting mm-hmm. for 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 both 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 parties like like guy gifting to the girl girl gifting to the guy, uh, like I guess for the on the day itself wedding ceremony, I wouldn't say that most of it is is not valuable, but I would say some of it yeah some of it is most valuable like sometimes. Uh, I don't know. I just can't can go specific. I guess some sometimes where you have to like um, pray or something, some okay. some sort of. I don't know. Like like you have to have the joys oh, to create something like oh, that. So okay. I don't know. I mean like, uh, I guess it's a form of respect oh, in a certain okay. way. But I guess I don't know. I'm more in, individualistic in a sense. Okay, I guess, okay. but I guess it should be more focused towards us. And then I don't know focus towards mm. us and then us being comfortable yeah mm-hmm. something like that like just we're spending money spending time and all this kind of stuff but then like what are we getting out of it like i mean praying respecting is important but that is not on the only way of showing respect mm-hmm. yeah like like when we're praying towards that our ancestor <laughs> are they actually knowing that we're getting <laughs> that's another thing so i guess um like I don't mind spending money, spending the time, but I just want to make sure when I do this, it's something which I in I care about. I can truly immerse in an experience. I can be happy about it. Like like there's this procedure where you where you kind of like 
what do they call it? You serve tea to your oh, parents. Yeah. I mean, that is okay. Relatively, I'm not so, relatives, I'm not so sure. Though. <laughs> parents, definitely, it's fine. Parents, grandparents, something mm. like that. Because, like, there are people that are worth respecting. Mm. Yeah, so... And, and sometimes it, it gives gives them a sense, like, you are not a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. Th- that's a meaning in it. But if you're talking about, like, you know, like, just serving sometimes to relatives that are not so close or, like, like praying towards your ancestor, like... What is the meaning behind that? Like, why are we doing that? Mm, and then why are we spending the money on that? And I'm like, mm, yeah. Yeah, and then another thing, I guess it's a like gifting part is definitely something that I definitely don't understand at all. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, I guess there's a lot of other ways to prove that you are loyal and then you guys are ready to, mm-hmm. to, to get married. So, like, others are fine. I just, like, my criteria is that, like, that's why I, I guess, like, one thing that you ask us when, when I come over here sometimes, like, why would I, why previously... I wouldn't go out and eat and now that we both of us now I have to sometimes pay for both of our mm. meals why would I rather do that instead of previously when mm. I'm here alone just go out and eat because like when we do it together not only we're just paying for the food itself we're paying for the memory like all the mm. all the associated meaning within that moment yeah if I just eat it myself I just it's like more like just the food I just I don't find that that food to be an important thing the, the most important thing that my uh, that's worth my money mm-hmm. I care about all the other moments something like that so yeah I guess the moments like, and memories maybe. yeah yeah so I guess for me like like my ideal marriage like uh, it's not like a whatever that's happening if I can uh, afford I would love to have things happening but then like I care about whatever is happening it's like uh, moments that are worth remembering and then mm-hmm. it ties a meaning towards us. I don't want it, we just do it for because others are doing it, mm-hmm. because it's a tradition, and because our parents want it, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, are both your parents very traditional in this kind of stuff? Right. To be honest, I never, I never, never talked to them about this. I guess my dad is a bit flexible. Uh, mom, I'm not sure. Um, but my, my grandma might be okay. a bit <laughs> Unfortunately, I believe she doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> and I believe no one would translate to her. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, I know my mom is not that traditional in mm. terms of like she actually don't really know much about all this aspect, oh, okay. aspect what, what she has went through and what she's been seeing. Yeah. So <laughs> she mm. always say, if there's a chance, uh, don't, don't even need to do, to, you know, uh, organize a wedding dinner or what just go and uh-huh. have, have a honeymoon and that's oh really yeah that's lovely okay. yeah, but, but she did kind of say but I think your dad might be a <laughs> bit traditional but I think for my dad it's not like he cared that much about those traditions mm. it's that all his all his sisters oh okay okay are, are more traditional that mm. they will give him pressure and all mm. yeah okay and mm. yeah of course like at, at their age, they they want their family to be, everyone happy kind of stuff. Mm. So that there might be some pressure in that. But uh, so so this is from what I observe. I'm not quite sure. He never really explicitly tell me before. Mm, I don't know. I guess, in a sense, I guess I'm a bit more rebellious. Like, <laughs> and, you know, like growing this hair has been getting this hair is unfortunately sorry about hair. You've been getting a lot getting a lot of judgment just because trying to grow this. Like, yeah, my not gonna lie, my parents, uh, like relatives, have been pressuring. Like, why don't you just cut the hair? Like, you know, it's been long enough, something like that. So, I mean, there's um, there's nothing wrong with what they want, but I just, I guess, it's more like it's more like understanding why do you want it that way. Mm-hmm. What is the reason? Is it truly because doing this will make our marriage better? Something like that, like. Like by gifting, by 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 praying, some sort something like that it will make our, our our wedding better. Is it actually this, or you're just doing it because everyone has been doing? It? I mean, like I guess have we talked about this before? Like tradition. Why are tradition traditions? There is, like, if there's meaning, I guess it's worth keeping it. But then I guess. Things evolve as well. Sometimes mm. things should be just left into videos or something because it just doesn't make sense anymore. Mm-mm. Of course, if you really enjoy that, you like that, you want to do that again, feel free to do that. But I guess it's more like now, It's it doesn't have to be just there for show. Sometimes utility part is important as well. So 
like I guess it's more important to think about why. Like when people want me to cut my hair, why do you want me to cut my hair? Is it because a guy shouldn't be perceived as Having long hair? hair? <laughs> or like, do I look messy? I guess sometimes I do, but now I don't think so. I guess I I look quite 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 good in camera. <laughs> yeah, and so I guess I for me that is the more important thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is the more important thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. cool, yeah. amazing. <laughs> Yeah, anything you want to just for round up this episode? Mm. I quite like. I guess I quite like. I don't know. I mean, I guess I quite like my 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 own conclusion <laughs> at the end. I guess like I in uh accidentally kind of figure out what, what like how would I enjoy spending the money? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'll say um, as long as you know what <clears throat> that is really what you want, mm. not not just blindly follow anything. Mm. Um. Yeah. There's, there's no wrong if you want to go with the traditional way or the modern way or any any other way mm-hmm. that suits you yeah mm, yeah that's good that's good that's good yeah I mean it's like care about or like yeah in uh, actually what you want mm. yeah for for me I care more about like the meaning itself mm-hmm. I just don't like people doing things blindly mm-hmm. I, I know some things you have to do it this way but uh at least for things which I can have a stand I wanted I want to convey my message that we do things for a reason, mm. not for no reason. Yeah, we need to think through things, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, give it a thought. It, it kind of makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah, so... Yeah, I guess that's it for this episode then. Amazing episode. Do you have any insights for this week? Not really. Not really. Do I have any insights? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I guess... Um, I don't know, I guess it's just, 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 just a pure thought that I guess I might be executing. I guess now... Yeah, I yeah I think last week episode as well. Yeah, I've been taking break on for my YouTube, and then this week I'll be taking a break. I think until like I'm gonna upload my video after like when March starts, and then possibly then I'll change to a new format as well because I guess um, now I really want to spend more time developing my skills, mm. uh, more AI skills and like that. Not saying that doing purely videos and developing skills but I guess I want to do more AI stuff so I probably will be doing live and then doing more low quality content just just documenting my journey of you know trying to just mm-hmm. work on AI okay. stuff so yes I guess uh, well, that's that will be it for this episode then so thanks everyone for listening and hope to see you guys in the next episode <laughs> so yeah goodbye bye bye Oops, it's not working again. It rarely happens though. I know it hasn't been happening for quite some time. I don't know, but mm. yeah, I guess it happens again. So yeah, remember to, I guess I'll, I'll say myself then. So yeah, uh, remember to like, share and subscribe. And uh, we are on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, you can leave a review. YouTube, you can leave a review, uh, review a comment. Yeah, so feel free to do that. <laughs> and yes, so see you guys. Bye-bye.